Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Age of Fear 2 with me, Cornish Knight, as we press on with our Let's Play. So, let's get down to business, shall we? It's going to be a relatively short episode today, folks, so the please don't have it against me. Right, first thing is first, we're going to tidy up where we left off, which means breaking open loot crates and doing all the fun business as usual. So... Let's get ready for it. The reason I'm using firewalls to clear them is just so, for, well, for ease more than anything else. I just didn't want to be wasting about hitting stuff. Plus, if stuff pops out, we're far enough away that we can actually just gang up on it. So, let's get stuff done. We got all the stuff. Ooh, got some nice stuff. We got some stuff that we can actually give to the pool as well, which is very pleasant. One of our succubi, I think it's... Uh, oh, we're going to send Belkar. I thought we the sent the other succubi. Seen. That might have been my imagination. And I thought it'd be a very nice little thing to set off some explosives. Surprise so, let's blow up the dynamite, or the oh, black powder crate. Take everything up with it. So we've got enough items to basically do the whatever it is we have to do with the moon pool. Ooh, what are those? Wyvern eggs. Wyvern eggs. Wyvern? Wyvern. All I know it's 3 XP, so let's go and butcher, because you, when you break those eggs, stuff comes out. So we got to kill them, and we'll get some nice juicy XP for it out of the bargain. So let's get down to business. My horse is ready. And I hope everyone is doing well and having a nice day. Let's see if we can't make it a better one. Come on, move everyone up. There will be monsters, like, just saying these, when you break this egg stuff will spawn, so you have to be aware of that. Um, Buy my sword. And they are pretty nasty, they're so poisonous and all kinds of horrible things. So, yeah. my backup plan is to, is to have some of my hardcore combat troops up front. Then we're just going to pummel them, so it's going to be relatively straightforward. You have my attention. Anywho, Make me. let's see if we can get this done. Ready to go. Hello there. Find my sword. Getting everybody in position. Be nice. <laughs> Interestingly, this actually works rather well because your mana pool for your summoners is filled up at the end of the battle, so it's actually this is a relatively easy way to get stuff done. To right. Fireball the eggs, so we've got to end the turn first, recharge all our mana points. Then fireballed nest. Be nice. There we go. Here come the wyverns. Rather nasty things, to be honest. Although sometimes it's taken for young dragons, the poisonous attack of a wyvern poises a unique threat. Wyverns are extremely aggressive and territorial, attacking intruders on sight. Oh, Ooh, a lovely amount of damage. And we'll get Percival to kill off the remaining yes. ones. I'm on the way. <laughs> kill that one off. If one gets XP, now nah, we'll just get Percival to get some more experience. He can take it. After all, he has quite a lot of extra health. And we do disintegrate on this one. Just because I do like that ability. 
So that's the Wyvern's token care of. And all we have to do now is get back to the world map and take care of our rather extensive upgrades because there's going to be a lot of them. It was slow going, but the party was able to fight their way through the swamps. The green skins were numerous, but when they saw the willow wisps, they panicked and fled. The party only had to deal with the most courageous orcs, led by their chieftain. Just when Kara and her party thought that they had made it through the worst of it, they saw that the Greenskins had a surprise for them. Kara shocked Percival when she spoke in a cooing voice. Oh, they are so cute. What are those beasts? I think they are Hydras, my lady. I only know them from tales, but I do not believe that they are the cute creatures you seem to think them to be. It appears that the orcs have somehow domesticated them. I think I... Kara did not hear what else he had to say. Due to the ear-shattering battle cry, the Greenskins led forth as the battle began again. So straight into a new battle, I see. Ah oh, well. Mix up everybody's sister. Brother, how did you find... Ah, oh, this is a new unit the developers are telling me about. The Mancubus. Oh my god, what the heck happened to you? Failed experiment, terrible explosion. That's fa my family, stupid. I'm very sorry, dear brother. He's still very immature, even for a human. Deafening silence. Deafening silence continues. More deafening silence. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm really very sorry. Stupid. Mancubus are powerful warriors capable of killing opponents with one blow. However, this unit cannot move and attack at the same time. Sorry about that, folks. Right. Anyway, where were we? Right. Let's upgrade. I have been informed we cannot use double stars with dual wielding, which is a shame because I was looking forward to it. But hey ho. Now, let's just see how things go. Let's just see if we can... Ah, sorry about that folks, sorry, something keeps on distracting me. Um... Yes, what we're we doing... Let's see, we were trying to figure out what to get, I believe. Um... Hmm... Always so hard to choose. But, at the moment in time, I'm probably going to go with Mana Suit, because I'd like to have it. But... It's going to be a useful ability for a risky one to have. Um, yes. So, let's see what we hope we can get. Uh, mm, curse is a good ability to have. Curse is good. Health for her would be more useful. Shoot is going to be useful because be all the units we get in advance is going to get more XP. Um, what else can we get? Fire resistance is always nice if we could get to her as well. Lux useful, that's just a straight up defense increase. We're going to get the elite. Um, we're going to get the elite. Elite upgrade to the unit. And get the, probably the team size increase as well. What else? What else? What else? What else would be useful? Cleave probably actually for thinking about it and being honest. I mean the basic attack upgrade isn't so useful as it could be. Um, but Cleave is nice. You get an extra attack after every kill which with him is very powerful. Right. Iron Mind for our summoners is pretty much necessary at this point. Uh, mana burning is good because it allows us to, to deal with magical users as we've already previously mentioned. We'll stop upgrading our succubi to um, demon mistresses. Very dangerous. Very powerful. Which is very nice. Uh, 
some of the spells aren't as useful. Like I don't do a lot of demon buffing magic. I don't see the point. I'm one of these people that heavily believe in like in this game. I find for to be on okay. Sorry, I should rephrase that statement. To be honest, I find that in um, Age of Fear, having a really strong offense is normally much more preferable to having a strong defense. So I don't tend to take a lot of the buffing stuff. Though you'd probably need it on the hard difficulties, to be honest. And Shield Breaker would be a useful ability. Cleave is nice as well. But Shield Breaker is really useful because it means that your normal troops can deal with elite units that normally have quite high defence. So if I'm just going to get healed up. I'm actually, I really enjoy the bats, to be honest. I find them a really useful unit. Shield Break. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going to save my XP points to get Chaos Mage because that would be really useful to have. One of the things that people really forget is that the your base units can become really powerful, especially if you um, especially if you um, care for them properly. You can care for them properly to become uber, not well, not uber powerful, but they become useful in ways that elite units don't become. For example. I've got, uh, I don't know, like I, I didn't get the chance to get the Hydra or the Golems, unfortunately. That was the thing I regretted. I wish I had been able to, but I didn't because I won the Battle of Dwarves, so it means I couldn't get them, but they are, they tend to have very limited roles. Um, while you can normally spec your, in your baseline infantry to be a lot more flexible, So, killing bow isn't so bad, it's plus 3 attack if the enemy's on 1 hit point, which is okay, to be honest, I mean it's not great, but it's okay. Those chaos spiders, corrupted spiders are becoming really powerful. I might actually start using them. Problem is they have quite weak melee attacks, which is never useful. Right. So, yeah, just keep going through. My initial plan is to make sure that all my units have, all my main melee units have double attack and and shield break if we can get it, because it's very, very, very useful. Um, iron mine for him. Elite training. So it's just general across the board improvements. I've actually really enjoyed the um, really enjoyed the demon campaign. You have a lot more flexible units. The orcs had relatively straightforward units. The demons tend to have more flexible units, so they tend to be a lot more interesting to use. So first off, we want to go over a couple of mancubuses because these are the new units. To the, and I've been looking forward to showing them off. The developers added them only recently. Grab a couple of will of the wisps. Um, I'm not massive fan. I know that the developers have made comments that the uh, Will of the Wisps are particularly are particularly interest uh, are particularly interesting. I think that one of his one of their most fam favorite units in the entire franchise are Will of the Wisps. Um, me personally, uh, I'm not taken with them to be honest. Um, they have some nice spells like Mind Blast and Cleanse and Elemental Resistance, but I don't know. I just don't find the they're too squidgy. Far too squidgy. So what guys? These guys have. Hmm, they actually have a lot of very nice stuff like Crusher and, which is nice for going against constructs. Um. But we're going to probably be aiming for the elite status with these guys as well. Also, the downside with the man Mancubus is that they cannot attack and move at the same time. So they're predominantly a defensive unit. That you'd get them into a defensive position and then I'd let them hold it rather than going on the offensive. Which is a bit of a pain in some ways. I'm not a massive fan of that style. Um, 
I suppose you could use it as a flexible defence and have them as the, the central the central defensive line that doesn't move and then have your flexible flanks sweep around and envelop the and, and envelop the main units. Um but but that's something that's probably gonna have to be worked out at another time. Um let's see. Yeah, we'll bring some of these guys. I don't, the problem is I don't want to bring too many untested units because if you haven't tried them out, they become a bit of a hassle. So, pardon me. I think the best thing we can do is switch out. I mean, the Hellblazer is a nice weapon. In all honesty, allows you to hit multiple targets. But I'd rather have another melee unit in the, in the mix up, just in case things go south. Because the Hellblazer is fantastic until you actually have the fight stuff at close range, and then you get into trouble. Now, does any any items that we want? Uh, not really, to be honest. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of like the magical swords, like the flame sword and the ice sword. I don't see the point of them. Shield of Faith is nice, can't use it because we're not evil. Meteor Iron Armor is very nice, and it's one of my personal favorites. Even though it doesn't look much, its ability to to basically make it mitigate mitigate damage is fantastic. Um. We can't give it though to um to our knight because obviously because um obviously if we do he loses double attacks, so he loses his effectiveness in some ways. Um right. Let's just get on with the task at hand, get some stuff done. I wanna try and save some of our gold stuff because obviously we need to chuck it into the lake. Probably gonna do it at the gold bar. Yeah. Bone Candle, not really useful. Command Undead is an okay ability, but uh, I don't know if we're going to face any more Undead in the campaign, so I don't want to waste loads of money on item we may not use. Right. So, let's just keep going then. Buy some magical stuff. Right, let's buy some magical stuff. Oh yeah, we had to take one of his potions off if we want to use it. Um, what should we take off? That's the question. That's the question indeed. Probably his health potion because he stays at the back. It's a risk, but I want to have have that. Right. Hmm. In hindsight, I probably should have taken off the antitoxins and just had health and mana potions. So I'm going to have to be a bit careful with these guys and pull them back out of harm's way if stuff starts to go wrong. Or just go super aggressive with other units and crash through unit and like, the thing is that me, me doing this is very glass cannony, which is that it, uh, I should have probably taken off the anti-venom and just given them health potions. Ah uh, well, too late now. Let's see what this battle's going to be like. First of all, you need a bath right now. It's not me, I can smell it too. It's as Hydra's. I will find you clean water and soap after battle. So let's see, how many Hydra's are we... F Ooh, that's a lot of Hydra's, that's five Hydra's. Okay, that sucks. And they've got a lot of magical users as well, which sucks even more. I just ancient beasts with several seven heads, right? We've read it before. They basically have regeneration, multi head multiple attacks, and they're backed up by lots of goblins, which sucks like no one would believe. So I think the best option that we have is to try and lure them forward, catch them with some of our Will of the Wisps, get them to attack the enemy shamans so that they kill them off as the rest of our army basically holds up, holds everybody else up because this is going to be a fight that's going to be nasty to do. So I'm going to have to try and hold the line for as long as I can in all honesty. I mean, 
Hellblade might have been useful in this scenario, but nah, it's one of those really hit and miss things. Um, right, so that's all we're gonna really gonna do. As always, if you have liked my videos, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, and I can see you all next time on next episode of Age of Fear 2. Um, but that's all we're going to take time for right now. Goodbye.